Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Everybody knows his bright red van. All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them. Maybe you can never be sure they'll be not bring letters through your door. <laughs> postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. He's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Jesse's trying to join in. Maybe I should ask Mr Pringle to let him be our marching band mascot. Oh, what a nice thought, Julian. <coughs> Only with all that marching, it might be a bit tiring for him. I suppose so. Uh, shouldn't you be getting ready for school now? OK, Mum. Hey, look. <coughs> I've found my old penny whistle. <coughs> I used to love this thing. Oh, great. Let's play, Dad. Well, might be a bit rusty, but here goes. Now then, you two. Better get a move on. Don't want Julian to be late for school. And I'd better get going too, or the post will be late. Can we play again later, Dad? I can't wait. I'm going to take this with me in case I get a chance to practice between deliveries. <laughs> oh. oh, is there room for the rest of the post, Pat? Yes, I'll get this in. There. Come on, Jess. Let's be on our way. <laughs> Here you are, Jess. Thanks, Mrs. Goggins. You're welcome. Bye, Pat. Bye. See you later. <laughs> Would you like any help getting this into your workshop, Ted? No, thanks, but I'll be fine. <laughs> hey! Give that back, Jess. It's not a toy. I didn't know you played the penny whistle, Pat. It's been a long time since I did. I dug it out again to keep Julian company while he practices for the Greendale marching band. Give us a toot. Oh, I don't know. Go on. I love the penny whistle, I do. Hey, that were great, Pat. Thanks, Ted. I'd better get going, or people will be wondering what's happened to their post. Mind out, Jess. I want to get this back in the van. Bye, Ted. Bye, Pat. Oh, and thanks for the concert. Move over, Jess. How can I get the letters for the cafe if you keep getting in the way? Why don't you come and say hello to Nikhil, Jess? 
Thanks, Nisha. Here you are. Thanks, Bat. Mm. Mm. Oh, Sarah, they smell gorgeous. <laughs> Freshly baked this morning. Uh. All right, Nick. You can have one with your milk. Wish I had time for one. I'll save one for when you finished your rounds. Thanks, love. Come on, Jess, we've got to get going. I don't know what's got into you today. Come on, Jess. March, march, march! March, march, march! March, march, march! Symbols! Um, turn. They all run up to the... Ow! Oh, dear. Mr. Pringle, Mr. Pringle, I was plagued by bungles. You should have turned. Julie and Amira bumped into us. You didn't get out of the way. All right, everyone. Don't worry. Let's start again. Meow. Here you are, Reverend. Meow. Well, I never... What's happened here? It looks wow. to me as if someone has made a snack of my post. Hello, hello, hello. What's going on here? I'm not sure. It looks like someone's been eating the letters. Tempering with the post is a criminal offence. I launch an investigation. That's kind of you, Arthur. But from the size of those teeth marks, I'd say we are not looking for a master criminal. Would you mind holding these, Reverend? Oh, I gather the letters unto me. <gasps> it's empty. Empty, eh? Yeah. <coughs> Apart from a black and white cat. <laughs> come on, you. <laughs> Out you come. <coughs> I shall note that the mystery of the mangled letters remains unsolved. Do you want anything with that, Ajay? Mmm. I'd love one of Sarah's muffins. <laughs> Got into Nickel. What is it, little man? <coughs> oh. He's probably tired. You look after Nickel. I'll get out Jay's muffin. Thanks, Sarah. <coughs> I'll read him some of this to calm him down. The Pied Piper's his favorite book. Once upon a time, there was a piper who had a magic flute. There you are, Ajay. Thanks, Sarah. That looks deep. What's that? Oh, no! Someone's already taken a bite out of it. How on earth did that happen? How's the marching band coming along? Well, still a bit shaky, I'm afraid. I'm wondering if I'm asking too much. Expecting them to play and march at the same time, like. Oh! oh. My oh, not again. Mr. Pringle, Mr. Pringle, Julia bumped me. Him and Mira got it wrong again. That's so unfair. You did. Did not. Suffer the little children, Mr. Pringle, and it will all come right in the end. You trod on my toes. Shouldn't have such big feet, then. And I can see they're really suffering, so i leave you to it. I thought they might be teeth marks, but that's not very likely. Can you think what else could have caused it? Nay, Pat, it's a mystery. Oh, would you look at that? How on earth did that happen? Jess, come here. Jess? Oh, I can't believe you ate those muffins, yeah. you bad boy. I don't think it was Jess, Sarah. I think it was mice. Oh, dear. I am sorry, Jess. Yeah. Look, everyone. Yeah. I went to put this round Nikhil. <laughs> I thought so. Field mice. <laughs> Not so fast, Jess. Poor things. They must be lost. 
I bet they're terrified. At least we've solved the mystery. Now we need a way to get them home again. I think I might have an idea. But I need a really big box. And I know just where to find one. Do you want to practice? Oh, it's no fun anymore. I know. It's so unfair. Everyone thinks we're no good. They'd think it was hard too if they were at the front. And when the mice eat the cheese, it pulls that rope so the net drops over them, which tugs the broom, which pulls this. Then this, which calls us by doing this. Who'd have thought it would be so complicated trying to catch a few mice, eh, Jess? At least this way, we know they won't get hurt. You've done a first-class job, Ajay. Well done. Let's go and have a cup of tea. Mm. <coughs> the mice! Let's go! Oh. oh my, oh my, oh my! What's going on, Dad? <sighs> we were trying to catch some mice, Julian. But we caught the Reverend Tims instead. Sorry, Reverend. I'm sorry to cause such a fuss. I was just checking Ajay's trap to make sure that the poor little creatures wouldn't get hurt. Don't worry, Reverend. I'll have it set up again in no time. It's too late. Look! Oh, gosh. <gasps> Stand still, everyone. I'll see if I can catch them. You dropped this, Mr. Clifton. <laughs> Thank you, Mira. I think he wants your whistle, Pat. No, he thinks Pat's the Pied Piper. Who's that? A man in a story who played a magic pipe to make all the rats leave town. The Pied Piper? Hmm, I wonder. It's working! <gasps> if you need to get home Just follow the music Back where you belong The music will take you there Just follow the music Back where you belong The music can take you there ba, 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 ba. Just follow the music do, 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 do. Isn't that grand? We've seen them home safely. Well done, Dad. You were a fantastic Pied Piper. And you two were brilliant. Thanks. You know, I think we found the stars of our marching band. <gasps> yes, this truly has been an evening of celebration for all creatures. Great and small. <laughs> postman, postman Pat, can you guess what's in his bag? Is there a letter? 